My name is Helen Benassi and I am investigating whether online services will help Australian Defence Force members access mental health support. I hope to understand who in the ADF uses online services and how we can better implement those services to meet their mental health care needs. Every 12 months, one in five Australian Defence Force members will experience a mental illness. And for those leaving service, one in two will. Um, although mental health services are available and they can help, uh, ADF members to recover or manage their symptoms, about half ADF members won't seek mental health care. Online services are an option for improving access to care, but uptake and engagement is low. So I really want to look at whether or not we can improve uh, engagement for ADF members so that they can get the mental health support they need. My name is Christiane Gavlinger and my PhD is on the language of policy advice uh, that's been rejected. I hope to achieve uh, something that a lot of the reviews of the Australian Public Service haven't really done before, and that is to really drill down into what the advice is and how it's gone on to be effective or not effective. Civil services are reasoning in the public interest, and so I think now more than ever, you know, the public or, or people in general are looking at expertise in a much more critical way than they used to, where generally it was just accepted. I think now we need to make sure that when we reason on behalf of the citizens, that we do that in as comprehensive and straightforward a way as possible. But I think first and foremost, you know, we need to, we need to be sure that we have given ministers who are governing on behalf of those that elected them and the rest of the nation, we need to make sure that we have given them as clear and comprehensive an argument as possible.